Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to a self-published book accomplished. This is the Book Writers Club. I'm so happy you're with me today. Thank you for being here. Today is Wednesday. We're going to talk about what are we talking about? We're going to talk about time and stress. Are you stressed? Do you have a lot going on? Let's think about it. How can we minimize stress and maximize productivity? The first thing you want to do is prioritize what is most important make a list of everything you need to do and prioritize it prioritize what is most important because everything that is important should be done when you have peak energy when do you feel the most energized is it in the morning is it at night are you a night owl or are you a morning bird which one is your energy level you want to think about when is your best time to do the most productive work. For me, I love the mornings. The mornings, they work for me. I just feel so wake, awake and just ready to go and just energize. And then by like the afternoon, it kind of gets a little low. And then it perks up again towards midday. And then night, I get a little tired again. Then sometimes it comes back up. So, I, you know, energy can go up and down. What's your energy level? Think about it. How do you feel throughout the day? Do you feel better when you eat something, when you have coffee, when you drink your coffee, your tea? What gives you that energy for the things that you need to accomplish? Because sometimes you're feeling stressed because you didn't have your coffee, you didn't eat your breakfast, or you're just, you know, hangry. You know, they call it hangry when you're angry and you're hungry at the same time. What you have to be attuned to how you feel. What is stressing you? Write everything down that is causing you stress. Stress can make you not want to do anything. So an important thing to remember is to make time for rest. Make time to take a nap. Make time to meditate. Make time to go for a walk. I encourage walking before you go to write because writing is such a stationary thing. So you want to just expend some energy Perk yourself up a little by going for a walk. I encourage walks before writing because it will energize you to come down and focus when you sit down to write. Try it. It will work. I'm, I guarantee you it will work. And also, think about the people in your life, your environment. Is your environment stressing you out? Is there a lot of paper, a lot of clutter, a lot of clothes, a lot of things out of place that you haven't put back? Why don't you clean it up first? Get those things out of the way because those things will always be running in the back of your mind and you won't be able to focus on the writing that is at hand. But if you have a clean environment and you've already put things away, then you can focus on what you need to write. So think about what's stressing you out. Write it all down. What is stressing me out? Is it the space you're in? Maybe you want to write in a different location. Is it your, your job? Maybe you want to take a day off you know sometimes we need a day off a mental holiday right and it's okay to have a mental holiday if you need a mental holiday take it and then just just be mindful of yourself and just be mindful of how you feel so that you feel in your peak state to be able to do the things that you really want to do the priorities in your life you want to make it priority I know for me when I was in a nurse in a in a nursing facility, it was a job from 7.30 to 4 p.m. And then I would get home around 5 and I would just be so tired and stressed. It was just not good. It wasn't working for me. And it was only until after I resigned from that job and, and, and was free for a bit and I kind of just had a lot more free time. And I took another job where the hours were totally different. The hours were 8 to 3. And I had more free time, you know, and I had weekends again. The other job, I didn't have weekends. So the, the, the hour difference gave me so much more creative freedom. And, and, and I just felt more free to be creative again. And sometimes it just take, takes a shift of the stress levels and a shift of making things better in other areas. And it will spill over into your, your writing. When you feel more free, you'll be able to write easier. So I encourage you, make space for your writing. Create space for your writing. Get rid of the stress, the clutter, um, anything that's causing you unrest. Make yourself feel better 
so that when you come to write it's not stressful and if stress and if writing is causing you stress try to make it easier write about things you enjoy and then write about the thing that is tough to write about if there's something that's tough for you to write about do something easy to write about first and then do the part that's hard to write about and just go back and forth so that it's not a stressful process and if you don't like to type I would say speak into a recorder speak into your phone recorder and your memos because all of that content can be repurposed and transcribed and you can still use it it's it's content you cannot write a book without content so get you know mindful of how you can get more content out in your peak state in the morning afternoon or night and then get rid of stress whatever's in the way of making you feel comfortable to write get rid of that so that you will feel in your peakest your peak state so that's all for now i've already went to six minutes so that's all for now so i will see you tomorrow thanks for, for stopping by bye